in flag colors and Eric Morales decked out in his usual white trunks how high up can you go that way spanning 122 to 140 he has to try and approach this well so far he's doing all right because he seems to be getting off and the WBC has informed me that he gets the first crack at the title so uh, love to keep the sanctioning fees rolling and you keep the fights happening in the division they you know it's a business of boxing Morales really hasn't opened up yet. No, uh, talking about it earlier in this round, that if he can look at it, that this is it. Marco Antonio Barrera, Pauli Ayala, Goody Espada, Bueno, Cano is undefeated at 23 and 0. Morales, you know, fit. decided to pick up the pace here in round two a bit, Dave. And he opened up and go, hey, I am a legend. And he's going to be a legend more than in his mind. And in the half of. Uh, his tremendous experience at uh, the with the experience of Morales today that all of those punches there people sitting back in the uh, Cano and the one big punch landed off the hands of Eric Morales and he is left as good as some that Morales has faced and he's not bringing it back quickly enough but still with all his experience plenty good enough that he could beat a youngster like uh, Colonel Bob Sheridan here along with Dave Bontempo. Glad wherever you're watching around the world. Vacant WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Tano has a, a one-inch reach advantage, but he doesn't dip his shoulder in as much as Morales. Interesting how these guys are trying to launch the big shots. Morales doesn't have the hand speed he once had, but he has a lot of knowledge. He still is younger, just 21 years old. And then a nice, good right hand to the body by Morales. He got Morales with. And Morales. Boxing. This is round number four. The MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Floyd Mayweather and Victor Ortiz. For Ortiz's WB's fight. Plus, coming off the Madonna fight in which he did not look totally sharp back in April. But underneath the left eye, that it's either an abrasion or maybe a slight tear in the skin. That is Long looping right hand that time by Morales. He stiff he's in position after that to throw the right hand. It's a good round of boxing right now. Punch looked like it was ticketed for the chin, but when he saw the opening, able to do that, and that's what the exceptional fighters can do. And I Cano, and he's certainly hanging in there. He's winning this round. A very good round. Off in 08 by Miguel Angel Cotto. Offense here, and he's got a problem, an issue with his left eye. So each guy has have a lot of power on the left hook, but he caught him. But he wants to throw more right hands on top of He has all the knowledge, so he's using what he has to his advantage very, very well. And you're seeing the pressure. pressure, yeah. He avoided a lot of those punches, but it gives an adrenaline. Look at this. The fight fans here love it. On tempo, our principals, Eric Morales in white, and in the black trunks, Pablo Cizak. They can see Cano as being heavy-handed and give him until he fires his next job. I should mention at this uh, point in the fight, that continue, he loses the fight. So that's a case for either guy here. If it's up, very hard right hand was in there by Cano and counted right back. Human instinct. Yeah. When your eye is bleeding, it's make rear the better it is. He's trying to line up something really heavy with the right hand there, but just as a minute, Kenny Bellis was right behind around. Fires the heavy one and he's getting braver on the inside as this fight goes along. Patient with him, they like to see him turn it up a notch. Try to wear down the older. It's here against Morales, because Morales is right on him with the eye, so Cano has to gamble. A little. Look at Eric comes back with two right hands of his own. And that's right on top of that. Open up if you're Cano. Takes a chance. These kind of things ignite him. 
trying to pick up the pace here. Now. Played volume edge, but Cano has some heavier shots. The blood is causing a problem for him. And Cano does the other thing. Has Cano done enough to take it? And Dave and I, I think, would agree. Fight very close because of the fact that there's been two or three very... And a power punch for the sake of the statistics is anything other than a jab. It may not be... Time doesn't back off. Trying to counter him, and Eric uh, does the job on him. That was a very, very good fighter because... Kano's still dangerous from the standpoint of loading up. They're really closing up. He's been pounded to the face, and he's getting Morales back of Eric Morales. Morales again in the white trunks, kind of in the black. Over the last two rounds, and there's going to be a serious... It's really not that bad, not fight any anyway, but it's bothering him. That uh, really can sneak up on you in there. All right, here we go. This is round nine, but he's the champion. I don't often see that unless you're fighting Floyd Mayweather. Here, as you all know, you're trying to do everything he can to drop big punches on top of it. No, the eye. A good left hand landed by Morales in that exchange. And then drop the big right on top of it when he can't see it coming. And that has to do with positioning. That has a blindness in that left eye. It's ever so much more vulnerable. Uh, at least two, maybe three very heavy punches on top of that eye in this round, which was a fight. He's lining up for that eye, knowing that yeah, it, it's his short circuit ticket. That eye really looks bad. Of uh, Listen, Cano Morales has been really showing his championship caliber in the last couple. And it's kind of slicing punches, too. Kenny Bayless says, watch the heads coming together. Attacked. Yeah, almost everything at those eyes right now. Oh, count. My percentage knockout punch. In spite of the fact Morales is, believe me. Well, you don't get a free pass. When you that big goose egg that was coming up underneath the eye. The doctor will definitely... Doctor can't stop the fight, but I've never seen a doctor give you... A Pablo... Cano. Balancing. Kenny says to Cano, no holding. That's a little bit of frustration the way he's pushing that. The doctor was in. There was another big blast on top of that eye. Now the corner. A.O. victory. Now, once again, a world champion.